the brand new Scythe Mugen 5 CPU cooler is what I'm taking a look at here today. With that said, welcome everybody. Now this is quite the interesting release by Scythe since the Mugen series of coolers are quite legendary I'd say. This one should offer great compatibility as well as performance. Currently at the time of this video, the Mugen 5 apparently should cost around 51 US dollars. However, after a while it should adapt to the current pricing of the Mugen 4, replacing it basically. So roughly 43 dollars then. Thanks a lot to Scythe for sending over this nice cooler to check out. In the packaging, first of all the 120mm PWM fan, the bare CPU cooler heatsink, the backplate screws, brackets, metal clips and whatnot, some thermal paste, very kind to include of scythe, this long screwdriver and of course the installation guide. Now the Mugen 5's dimensions including the fan are the following, 130 by 154.5 by 110mm, 890 grams weight, nickel plated copper base, one of scythe's case flax 120 PWM fans, 300 to 1200 RPM fan speed, 16.6 .6 to 51.17 CFM airflow, 4 to 24.9 decibels noise level, socket compatibility, the recent ones such as Intel LGA1151, LGA2011 V3 as well as AMD AM3 Plus and FM2 Plus. In terms of aesthetics, Scythe is keeping things real simple here for an air cooler. Still they try to brush up some details here and there. The top of the heatsink looks quite nice for instance. And overall I like the appearance of this cooler a lot. Probably the best looking one by Scythe so far for me. Six heat pipes is what we are getting here, not bad, not bad. Also nice improvement is the fan, FDB by the way. Unlike all the other Scythe CPU coolers I've tested so far, this one comes with a fan that is equipped with rubber pads to greatly reduce vibration noise. Not that I ever really experienced any issues of that kind, but still a nice touch that doesn't go unnoticed. The installation of this Mugen 5 onto my test bench was very easy as always of course. Simple steps that are all in the detailed installation guide. Something that's notable is the increased RAM compatibility. The main side where the primary fan the included one gets attached to doesn't seem to be causing any problems in terms of interference with memory modules. Obviously this is an asymmetrical heatsink design, there's 55mm clearance for tall high profile RAM on the other side. So Scythe also seems to have thought about LG2011 motherboards with quad channel memory setups. But how does this cooler perform? Let's check out the temp results. Clearly the Mugen 5 is a good performing air CPU cooler. It in fact stacks up remarkably well and beats every other Scythe cooler I've ever tested in the past. Even the quite powerful Cryorg H7 has lost against it. And it can definitely keep up with those excellent performers such as the Deepcool Assassin 2, another top of the line air cooler. Even many AIO liquid coolers don't have a chance against it. However, what makes this whole thing even better is the fact that the fan remained almost perfectly silent during the testing. On idle I heard almost nothing when putting my ear real close to the fan and on full load it was audible but it's really hard to make out the noise coming from that exact fan. Almost any power supply fan will be louder. The case Flex 120 was really quiet and despite the fan having a pretty low fan speed and CFM airflow, the Mugen 5 performs extraordinarily well I gotta say. Just imagine equipping this bad boy of a heatsink with two high performance fans. At a price of 43 to 51 dollars that's a real good deal for sure. The aesthetics are pleasing, no compatibility or interference issues, quick and hassle free installation, what else do we want? I can definitely recommend this Scythe Mugen 5 CPU cooler. To be fair I just have to give this one my gold award. It really deserves it. What are your opinions on this Mugen 5? Is it appealing to you? Let me know down below in the comments. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next one.